Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Metroid games for the Nintendo GameCube. Metroid Prime was the first 3D Metroid game. They went experimental on this one, making the transition from this to this. And they nailed it, even more than nailed it. Metroid on the GameCube is a first person shooter, but not only that you'll shoot, but you can also transform into a morph ball to clear out puzzles, you get different types of weapons and the locations, I have to praise the locations. Each location feels distinct and is very lush in details. The whole gameplay is filled with details, for example when you look at rain you can see water droplets on your vision, when you enter a hot area you can see steam on your helmet, or when there are flashy lights you can see Samus's reflection. Also the games are in the old school spirit meaning that the games are far from being straightforward. If you want to progress in the games, there's no tutorial nor arrow pointing your way. You either explore the environment and find out for yourself how to pass the puzzle sections, or you look for a walkthrough on YouTube. Also in weapons, even if the appearance that you are using the same weapon might seem true, it's not true. By collecting weapon upgrades, you get for example rocket launchers for your weapon or different kinds of beams. Also you get different attributes to the suit, like for example making it invulnerable to heat or radiation, and these upgrades are needed to pass to the next sections in the game. Also you get stuff like heat vision and x-ray vision. The combat is also nice, each enemy having different strategies, enemies are usually color coded so that you know which laser beam you have to use to defeat it. And now, differences within the two games. Metroid 2 has different puzzles and different levels. Sure, the game plays the same, but Metroid 2 is a different game. It has a very dark setting, and here dark and light fight each other and you'll have to switch from the dark world to the light. And like this, even if the walls of the levels remain the same, what is between those walls, what is happening there, changes completely from dark to light, creating a totally different experience. I recommend you try the Metroid games. They are not rich in story, but they are pieces of art. The games aren't for everyone though. If you prefer games that tell you a story constantly, then the game isn't really for you. Or if you like assistance during gameplay, then the game is again not for you. The game just puts you on a planet and lets you find out for yourself how to progress in the game. So the games are unique. If they, even if they aren't for you, I will still recommend you try them, for artistic reasons at least. They are nicely made games. Try them, try them out. Even if it might seem that you don't like them, maybe, maybe you'll like them at, at the end. Ju just give them a try. 